What is up? I love basketball TV. It's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today we are talking about consistency with shooting. And this is probably one of the most important things that you have to understand about shooting is how to be consistent and to make as many shots as possible. So let's get into it. Now, one of the most common things you're gonna see, a big issue is just hand placement. So for a lot of players that have their hands starting on the side or have a hand starting on top or have your hands too close together, make sure that you can avoid those things and place your shooting hand in the middle of the basketball. I tend to split the index and the middle finger with my wrist cocked, but it's also okay to have the index finger in the middle or the middle finger in the middle. I go with a split. Now, make sure that your off hand isn't too close to it. If your hands are here or here and they're almost touching each other, that is a huge issue. So you wanna have good security with the ball so that way you can get into a triple threat move and still be able to shoot it and have really, really good hand placement on the basketball while also being able to have your shooting hand underneath it. Because if you're out here, now you're gonna have to rotate it in some way, shape or form, or you're gonna end up shooting it with your hand not fully underneath the basketball. So number one, shooting hand in the middle, off hand, separated, making sure that we got that one on the side, maybe slightly on top. We go ahead and shoot it. Now the ball path, let's make sure that I'm, a, as a right-handed shooter, bring it from my quad, through my right chest, through my right eyeball, bringing it as straight as we can. If that ball moves in any direction other than up, it's an issue. This, this, any of these wavering directions is a huge issue. So for consistency purposes, limited movements is the most important thing. Start low, bring it straight up, no movements to the side, and then we're gonna release with these two fingers right here, index and middle. Snap them straight down, not this way, not this way. So as we go to shoot, a few principles we wanna look at is one, of course, that we're not wavering side to side. Everything is going straight up, straight down. Now, if you're gonna notice my elbow, because we're gonna talk about arc here, my elbow is finishing above my eyebrow every single time. If you finish it flat, you have much less chance to finish it. And some people also pull the arm backwards. Don't allow your arm to go behind your head. Finish elbow right above the eyebrow and hand in the rim. If you can slow-mo your shot and you see your shooting hand turning this way or this way, that's a bit of an issue. Make sure that it drops straight in the rim because we want consistency. Then you want to make sure it comes off these two fingers because if it starts to come off, this way, it might be coming off your ring or your pinky, also an issue. We want consistency with our shot, so we want to shoot the ball the same way every time. Now my feet are going to be facing the rim. I teach feet facing the rim because it makes it easier to pull up to the right, pull up to the left, come off a screen this way, come off a screen this way, and you're able to square your feet and knock down shots. But if my feet are turned too much, it's really easy for me to go left and shoot, really difficult for me to go right and shoot going this way. So try to get your feet as squared as you can or slightly tilted to the point where it's not really messing with your jump shot. But if you want to notice on this one, I don't have an elbow extended. So if you can consistently have the elbow extended, the wrist snapped, keep it above and not have any pieces of your body with any variables there, we want to lock out all the way through. So I shoot it and my elbow's extended all the way, my wrist is snapped all the way, I'm on my toes, so my ankles, my hips, my knees, everything is completely stretched out and that's how we're able to keep consistency with our jumper. So don't have the elbow like this, make sure it's going all the way through and the hand finishes inside the ball every single time. Now two more things to talk about that are extremely important. If you notice, I start the ball low and my body low together. As I go to shoot, the ball will rise. My body will also rise. If you start standing up and the ball's low, normally what happens here is people will drop the body but rise the ball. And now this push is not how you want to shoot the basketball. You, that doesn't really give you any flow and that hurts your ability to extend your shot. So start low and as the ball rises, your body goes with it and then you get into that shot. That's your fluidity. So make sure Ball low, body low, ball up, body up. Now, offhand. If you notice every single time, you can see my offhand is completely flat and has zero involvement in the shot at all. Now, it doesn't have any force 
in pushing that basketball. If you do have offhand involvement, let's limit it as much as we can. So if you're pushing it with the offhand to shoot it, that's gonna hurt your shot and cause extra variables. So keep it as flat as you can, keep this movement, keep its force implied on the basketball as limited as possible, and try to release it here with the offhand doing nothing. Now, if you do have offhand involvement, easy way to get rid of it is to take the thumb and your index finger off the ball completely. So now I'm shooting it with three fingers and my offhand palm, and I can go ahead and take these three off. So I'm releasing it, one, two, three, and palm on the ball, one, two, off the ball. These two fingers won't touch the ball. I'm gonna release, and I won't have any involvement from those two or my offhand at all in general. Now to extend range and build consistency, if you have mastered the close shots and you can hit 10 in a row from there, 10 in a row from there, 10 in a row from there, and 10 in a row from here, then you've earned the right to step back, but do not start shooting deep ones until you master the close ones. And that small key is why a lot of people do not become great shooters. Too many people try to extend the range before they master and really dominate this close shot right here. So get this down, be able to hit this 10 times in a row before you even consider moving back into the deeper ones. Now when you get into further range, how do you build consistency from here? You shoot the same exact shot that you've been shooting the whole time, nothing changes. The only difference is I might snap the wrist a little harder or I might have to transfer my energy a little better. And this is why we talk about fluidity because if I'm going ball up, body down, and then pushing the ball, that hurts my rhythm, that hurts my ability to transfer energy. So I have to start low and then go up with it making it a lot easier to transfer energy, making it a lot smoother on the way up into my shot, making it more effortless, right? And then the more you continue to step back, it's super, super effortless because I'm able to drop and spring into my shot, but also have the same form the whole way through. So what key things are you looking for? Does my shot look the same from here as it does from there? As I go to shoot it, is my shooting hand in the rim? Yes. Is my elbow locked and extended? Yes. Does my offhand create any force? No. And if I can keep these things consistent, that's how I'm gonna have a consistent jump shot. Do I have a good base? Am I starting low and finishing high together? Am I making sure that my shot path doesn't waver? Because if you might get back here and start moving here or moving here, you want it to go straight up and straight in. So once you have built your jump shot and your foundation and you're able to shoot it the same way every single time, you've even got a little bit of range. Might not be back here, might just be around here. Now that you've built that shot, then you need to start to add a little bit of distractors. And what that means is your footwork, your ball handling, a pass, anything that can change your set shot into a game shot. So me just shooting wide open free throws definitely helps my ability to shoot the ball and to work on my technique. But you're not gonna be shooting wide open free throws all game long. You're gonna have to dribble into it, maybe step back into it, run into a catch, come off a screen, do a lot of different things to then shoot that same exact shot so this is why we add distractors. So maybe you're getting a pass, catching, and then shooting it. Maybe you're getting a dribble into it, and then shooting, but can you keep the same form every single time? Maybe I'm changing the footwork and getting into it, setback, and then shooting it. But as long as I can keep the same mechanics every single time when I get into my shot, it's the most important thing. So if you notice, right, we talked about that consistency, okay? Catch, shoot, hand in the rim, feet squared, elbow locked, all the things I need. Dribble, is my hand in the rim? Is my elbow locked? Am I not pushing with this hand? Step back, same thing, right? And if I can do that every single time from everywhere on the floor, I'm gonna have an incredibly consistent jump shot. But if I start getting back here and I change my shot and I change my feet or I change the way my hands are or I change the way my hand placement looks, that's where your shot becomes inconsistent. That shot from right there needs to be the exact same as this shot from back here. Money. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program, and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Hate it if we try to switch ways We got liquor in the trunk and a little more smoke Take our minds of being broke We've been making big plays